Ah, okay. So that's part of that's part of the concept. Yeah. So what's what's some uh, famous bass line that you that you played that that is that's pretty thumb heavy? <laughs> famous bass line. Yeah. Well, the most most famous bass line that's been played wrong <laughs> continuously <laughs> is Sissy Strut, and and. And and the and the, and the thing that that is it's like it's the second lick that everyone always wants to play or always wants to play wants to play more notes than it is that everybody wants to play right. <laughs> which is wrong. That's 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 being done on the organ or the guitar. Um, the words bass and guitar played that lick. So you guys, neither of you guys are playing that. Neither, neither of us. Are Everybody playing. just hears that in their head. Yeah. No. So what? Well, you hear that, Nick? You I hear do. That? I hear about, but I don't know I might have to go back and listen to that. Maybe Art Neville is playing that. <laughs> you know, because when we, we, they used to, um, they took a lot of Art's left hand. Get buried in his mixes, you know, mm -hmm. um, because you know because he was always want to play bass lines in his left hand. Right. And and if and if that's what he's doing, then maybe that's why everybody wants right. to do that. Because but the real lick was me and Leo was playing. That's the lick. That's mm -hmm. the real lick. Right. And then on the second part, uh, it gets it's it's. That harder. is the second part. Well, the, I guess the third part, the bridge. Oh, okay. That that because that part is much harder to pick out what you're doing when it goes into that third part. You no, there's only two parts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's another. The first the first half of that the first half of that lick is also played wrong. Everybody wants to do. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, most of everybody out here plays rather than. That's the real day. But there's a part in the song it goes into that like C9 boom check 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 it in the organ boom. solo yeah and the bass changes it up yeah well in, in the he, organ solo the organ solo C. yeah the, oh well, you would call that the, that that's the solo that, okay. that, that I wouldn't call that a bridge okay. yeah, but that's the solo then I'm just playing ah. So and uh, and actually, what's on record and what I play and where I have it in my mind today, uh, it was funny. There's a young lady um, that took on on YouTube. She took on a project uh, that she was gonna learn uh, every meter song on on the on the on the um, on a, on a, um, anthology record. Okay, eighty something songs. And uh, uh, and she. Um, and she uh, she she's posted five so far, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, um, and two of them, two of well two of them she she she, she, struck, she heard she's heard she, she was playing, uh, no no it, oh, here come the meter man, she was on a plan. Well, how'd you do that? Well, how'd she do that? I can't remember how she did it, but if she was playing, she was leaving out a note. Or she was playing, da. Oh, she, uh, yeah, she okay. was playing that. That's what okay. she was doing. And and I so I I kind of I kind of gave her made a little note on the tour and tour like that this right. is the, that is a, that's a B flat and, and it's such. she was doing it like that oh that's what she was doing ah, okay 
Right. That's what she was doing. Mm -hmm. And um, and I, so I, I wrote a little note and said the way I play this. So that, that's the, so I made a little note for her to do that. Right. And then I was I had been seriously thinking about maybe uh, um, going out and start and, and maybe do that, you know. Uh, uh, changing it up. Go find find no find you know find some of the the, the students that's out there that's posting stuff because I like what right. she was doing and the fact that she's taking on she's she's playing all my parts almost like identical to the way right. I uh, to, to the way you know she's she's really dig and what she said she did she used some program. I can't remember the program she did, but she's using that she's out. She can take and dial out mm -hmm. the bottom end. Okay. So she don't hear my notes. My notes are there, and then she played along with the record. You oh, know? Okay. And it, it was really cool, you know, because I mean her bass line is there, but you know, but her bass line is almost like perfectly to what right. I played. You know, it was cool. I said. Right. Now, do you pay pay a lot of attention to letting when notes end? Is that something you think about consciously? Um, I I, I don't. I think it's, it's automatic now. I kind of, right. I kind of like, you know, get away from notes. What with her, with the idea is that I'm getting away from the backbeat, so I, I don't, I don't, I don't have a note that's hanging on when the backbeat comes up. So you get out of the way. Yeah, I get out of the way the of the backbeat. Yeah. So, uh, um, but you know, I mean, when I play like the trio kind of gig, those gigs, I can, I tend to overplay because. It's just three of us, right? You, know? you need the sound. To and, hold it down. And it's not necessary that you need the sound because if if we left that space, it would be it would it would probably be cool too, you know? Uh -huh. Because you know, I mean, you're thinking about it, you know, the the, the silence is, is 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 musical. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So another thing you do is you you do a little bit of. It's almost slapping but it's not quite slapping like you don't go over the top but you do some stuff where you yeah i don't know how to slap real well i mean but, I, I, I i i do i do things like that you know like, and also on the high strings too with the yeah you do yeah, that but not yeah so it's not it's not slapping it's more like pulling uh -huh. right so I, i'm more like pulling than, than slapping I don't, I don't have that technique at all. Right. See, people, some guys get that with the going yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just, I don't, I don't have that, you know, plus I don't know how to get that. Right. To get that sound, I have to pull it. Right. And then sometimes uh, soloing, one thing I, I really, I mean, maybe you don't want to hear this, but a lot of people don't like bass solos. You know that. Oh, no. no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> what happens after the drum solo is the bass solo, yeah. <laughs> right. But, uh, but uh, like, you, you actually, during your trio set the other night, like, I was engaged through all your, your solos, and I think... It, Part of it might be that you you keep the groove in it, like the groove. Actually, a lot of New Orleans musicians do this. Drum solos too. Like the groove is always there. It's not they don't leave you out in the in the in the mists to wonder where the one is. Right, or, right, I mean? right. So well, I mean that's important. I mean I I mean you know uh, 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 well we do things with with the trio as well as that um, we keep the we keep a pocket going while the drummer solos on top of it. You know, right. So he can play his solo, and and when and when uh, and, and when he, when I take a solo, you know, it's it's like I like the fact that you know that the drummer stays. He, he finds he finds a simpler part, mm -hmm. but he keeps the pocket going, and I right. and I get to play on top of it, and and and, uh, 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 and you know, and and he and, and Terrence gets busy, you know, but he, you know, but he knows when to get busy. Uh, but he, but with him, I kind of always feel I don't you know. Now we've got the other night we got lost a several times. We you know we get we get in the middle of things and get lost. Right. But uh 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 uh, uh and that and I mean getting lost is okay. 
Mm -hmm. as, as long as you know how to get how, how to find yourself, right. and, and you know, and and we know I've seen bands get lost and have to shut the song and just stop playing because we, we don't right. know how to get back, you know. Right. But uh, um, so we 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 just that particular band, you know, um, we listen to each other really well. So you know, so you know, it's it's not like um, a disaster. It's not a train wreck, right? Right, you know, right, right. We just somebody just got lost, and but somebody always, you know, brings one back to the table, you know. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's, it's very clear. Yeah, it's it's very clear that you all have really great ears and can can kind of navigate on the fly, yeah. and and that you keep it fresh by 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 being that open and experimental. Yeah. Coming the other night, we did some <laughs> we did some stuff when Chris Chris Cam set in on us. And we we were doing a, um we did the song that's on my on a new record nice and in the middle of it uh, as a that little part in the back of the song well we we got off and we had done that and the song pretty much the song was over with but we I went somewhere else I went in something else something like that. And we were just hanging out there and jamming. That went off to way out, way out, and out there. Mike took us like a, a synth solo, mm -hmm. and you know, and I don't know how long. And I'm, I'm still because I want to pull up the tape and listen to that one. But, uh, uh, but we were out there for a nice little period of time. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and then, and then, and at some point, it was like we just, <laughs> me and Chris, just went back. And he looked at me and said, I knew you was going to do that. Wow. <laughs> it was like, it was, it was so funny. And, uh, you know, and, and it was like, I mean, because, because you, you're listening to each other, you know, things like that can happen. And everybody's like, it only, it's, you left a split second, everybody's on it, you know? So, right. That's, so that's, that's one of the fun things about that, that, that particular trio, you know? Yeah. So you're having fun. I, I'll have, I'm having really lots of fun with that band, and we we we've been up here recording, you know. Great, nice. Well, I mean, we covered a lot. Not you know, we kind of skipped uh, all the amazing studio people. Oh, how about and all these rock guy, you know, Paul McCartney's and uh, I, I used to uh, when I was re DJing uh, back in college a lot. I used to always play that live at the Queen Mary album. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I hated that record. Really? Oh yeah. Well, you know, it was it was it was it was actually the first unauthorized release. Oh of really? Wow. Yeah, it was a, that record was mastered from a cassette mm -hmm. that somebody got their hands on, and yeah. and uh, you know Paul McCartney actually had the multi-track tapes for that gig, and you know if you know the meters could have. You know, it would have been a smart move on our part to have McCartney produce it and put it out as you know, partner called me right. um, presents. Right. We you know, but that you know, somebody backdoored us on that. You know, Oops. the guy went out and released released it um, with the you know, with I, I'm assuming with the okay from you know our then manager Marshall Sion. Mm -hmm. And um, you know the record came out. From that point on, McCartney stopped talking to us. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't oh, respond you know, because you know I, I think we slapped him in the face. You know, and you know, and I say we because it's, it was our music, it was our performance. Right. But the band didn't have. We had no idea about it. It right. was uh, like the old days. You know, like it was like '66 and '67. Guys show up on the road and hand us your record. Say, hey, here's your new record. Right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I guess that. There's been quite a few of those kind of type of things that oh, yeah. over the years. Oh yeah, I mean that's one of the one of the things that you know that kind of has you know has mostly most Zig and Leo mostly where they are, you know, with trusting recordings, live recordings and yeah. stuff, you know, because you know people you know people you know go right behind behind your back and release this stuff, you know, right. and and put it out there. There may be some stuff on there that you won't ever want nobody to hear, course, you know, but yeah. now it's on the road, it's out there, you know. Yeah. So is there a way, something about yourself that you, you managed to not get drawn into whatever bitterness could could arise from, from these things happening? You know, through Is there affair? something that... Like, like, yeah, is there something that, you know, because I know some people just get, they can't let go of these things. When oh, yeah. Well, I, I, I think it's it's... It's much easier. 
how do you say it? It's, it takes more energy to be angry, right? Than it, than it, than it takes to um to to, you know, just be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so um, I I I I think that um I find that in my sobriety that I learned that if I ha if I don't have any way of controlling that situation then I'm not going to let it bother me. Right. So I'll be very careful and not try and put myself in a position where I have to worry about it afterwards. But, you know, if I, if I don't have no control of it, I, I'm not going to worry about it. You know? Right. And, and uh, you, you, you've stepped into the world of sobriety decades ago. Something like that. I stepped into that? Yeah. I well, mean, what, 28 yeah. years ago? Yeah. That's... 28 years. I've been, so, this would be my 29th year wow. of sobriety. And, uh, and, 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 um, yeah, I mean, after I got sober, I decided that I'm only going to worry about stuff that I can fix. Mm. If I can't fix it, then I'm not going to worry about it, you know. Right. That's a good message for life. Well, maybe, uh, maybe you could take us out. Uh, what's some some baselines? What's some stuff you're really proud of? <laughs> well, you know, yeah. every, every, everybody. You know, uh, I mean, I never could. We never got credit for playing the song. But you know, uh, but the, the, the baseline one of the uh, simple things of like sneak and sally through that. Ah. Something nasty about that. Yeah, but it's, I mean, but it's, it's like a simple, simple part. Yeah. You know, it's like it's not a whole lot of stuff. And I'm playing more than it was played on the record. Right, right, right. On the record, yeah. I played even less than that. Right. And then the uh, the muted string stuff. That, yeah. That, that's killer. So time is it something you ever specifically worked on your time like? exercises to get tight or just came from from hours and hours of playing i think it, because it came from just hours and hours of playing and you know yeah. uh i i something i never done after after we started recording with alan was practice i never practiced <laughs> because i was playing so i was playing so right. much i was you know we were playing i mean we were we were playing six nights a week on bourbon street uh, uh, uh and um and on sundays me, Zig, and Leo would go play a jazz, a, a swing gig with a, mm -hmm. uh, with a saxophone player named, um, I can't think of his name now, um, but he was a, um, a little Italian kid uh, um, that, you know, um, on not on Frenchman, but on, on Espanade. Mm -hmm. Frank Sinatra? Huh? Frank Sinatra? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Frank Sinatra, no. <laughs> <laughs> Frank didn't play saxophone. Yeah. Another time. Um, wow, killing man. Well, I appreciate your time. This has been great. Um, and uh, you know, you can let us know when you're up in New York with the bands. Yeah, what you got, what you got lined up? Well, I got I got so, a lot a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, in fact, I'm going to be in New York uh, on the 16th and the 17th of April. Okay. Uh, no. Um. Um. Is it April? Yeah, because we'd already passed right. It's 16th, 17th of April. Okay. It's doing a, um, it's sort of a, 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 a they're releasing, um, it's a group called, um, oh man, wait a minute, I'm going to call them. It's a, um, there was a video done 
um, to, of cancer survivors, uh, um, BU Love Life mm -hmm. organization is doing a, a, a show on the, on the 17th that's basically releasing the, the video uh, um, oh, great. Of, in, of, 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 of spouses of cancer survivors or people who have lost people right. to cancer. And, um, and uh, my wife just recently survived uh, uh -huh. pancreatic cancer. And um, um, so um, that was, um, I, I'm going up to do that on the 17th. Right. But then the organizers said, let's see if we can find you a, another little hit while you're in the neighborhood. Right. Because it was, you know, it's, it wasn't about money, it was about, uh, about you know, doing something for, you know, for the cancer survivors, you know, and, and stuff. So, uh, so they got me a paying gig the night before. Uh, uh, and I'm going up and playing with uh, uh, Adam Deutsch's daddy. Uh, um, um, and um, James, James, um, James Caesar. And it's another another player. Let's see. Bobby Deutsch, James, James, James Casey, and Big Coo Cahook. I don't know who that is. All right. B I G Y U K I. I don't, I'm not sure who that is, but he's. I think he's a keyboard player. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that's the that's the um that's the George Porter the, the, the Big Big Yuki. Big Yuki. I guess you'll, you'll, you'll probably, be, when you see him, you'll be like, that's, that you must be Big Yuki. You know who that is? <laughs> no, I don't okay. know. <laughs> I can picture We have to edit that part out. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll clean that up. Hey, Yuki, cool. we know, we're sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, I think we're good, right? All right. We cut anything we miss? Uh, no. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, of course, but. <laughs> oh, I got one, one last question. This is one. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have the thought, like, Actually, it is too damn funky in here. Say it again? You ever think, like, you know what? It is too damn funky in here. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's... it's well, you know, I, what I like and the things and I find it be funny is that when, when I'm playing, and it doesn't necessarily always happen... It happens more with the trio than it does with any other bands I play in. But every now and then... You know, in, in different organizations, you know, and you, you know it. You always know that when when people's paying attention, you know, and we all go somewhere, and then we all get back to the, where we started right. at without without you know without even directions, you know, no band leader saying, hey, you know, right, so right. Yeah, we just all of a sudden everybody boom, we fall in this hole, yeah, you know, and this the pocket is killing like it is, you know, it's right. like we, everybody just kind of look around at each other and say. Who did that? Right, right, right. <laughs> Who fault was that? You know, it's 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 like you know, this that's that yeah. Sometimes it does get to be really funky. <laughs> <laughs> and and do you ever think like uh, you hear stuff that's so influenced by the meters? But do you ever think like these youngins like that's not how it's done? Or does do you ever ever have these thoughts or like? I uh, you know I don't know if I have the the thing about whether that is. How it started was the fact that um, more than than you know, I'll just say I know where that came from. Right, you know, right. And I'll smile or something like That's that. I can't. I'll, I'll smile and say I know where it came. I you know I can't. I I can't. Um, you know I can't knock a a a a, a, a player or a group of players that have found found something and something that I did. Mm -hmm. And 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 pr and promoted it much better than I did, and made it better musically, and made it makes a better income off it, right? You know than I did because you know I mean you know when we were kids, the people who controlled our our uh, controlled our situation, you know that's the last thing they wanted us to do was to get rich, right? Because then if we'd have got rich, then we would have been uncontrollable, <laughs> right? Know? Uh, and then again, we may all be dead, you know, because right. you know, too many people that got rich fast didn't live long. Mm. You know? Wow. You know, uh, um, so you know, uh, that was you know, that's I, I kind of, I'm kind of, you know, I'm not unhappy that that you know that I I still have to play every day to keep my bills on, my bills paid, and mm -hmm. you know, keep my granddaughter who's graduating in grad school and stuff like that, you know, happy. 
and stuff. You know, I, I, I you know, I'm not disappointed that I'm not rich. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm just maybe a little, uh, a little disappointed that, um, that what we did isn't as recognized in the world for what it was. Right. You know, um, you know, the, um, the play, they got some players that out there that, you know, that tell you this is where this came from. You know, guys like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, they, they'll, they'll tell you in a minute where Africa came from. Right. I mean, where, where, um, um, what else? God, I can't get the name of a song now. That, but it was the song, our song, Africa, and it was theirs. This song was called something else. I can't think of it. But, um, you know, there's, there's players like that, you know, right. you know when, the, when the hip hop community adapted uh, and, and, and started hijacking, you know, all of, a lot of our songs, you know, they didn't give us any credit. They didn't ask us, you know, right. they, uh, when they got caught, they had, they had a system set up where, you know, every, every song, every, uh, every song was, was, uh, uh, was bankrupted. So you know you couldn't go after the song, Damn. you know. So like you know, so it was like you know it was it was there was it was a scam because people knew that they were stealing the song. Right. You know they were stealing your your, your performance. They should have paid you for your performance. And it was they didn't use a whole song. They just use a piece of your song. Right. So they just had to pay you for your performance right. because they use me. I'm playing on these records, right. you know. Right. But they you know but you know you know some people like Queen Latifah told us man sue me. <laughs> yeah. wow. And that's how we found out that every song has a, it was in bankruptcy. So it's, it's you know, sue me means sue, sue the sue song. Bankrupt, you know? Amazing. <laughs> it's <laughs> like people who are learning from their abusers or something like yeah, that. You yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so I, I never got angry about that. You know, I never got angry. I was disappointed. But you know, again, like I said, you know, I something I didn't control. So you know, I, so I'm not going to let my whole world come to a screaming halt because I'm trying to fight that. Right. And it's a losing. I'm fighting a losing battle against that. You know. Yeah. So you know, that's wow. that's the way it is. You well, know? that's a lot of wisdom, and and I wonder if that really, that that actually came from what you learned to overcome addiction to 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 to, to really understand. I believe that. it did. I, I believe it did. I believe I believe that you know. The fact that wanting to survive, you know, if you put yourself in a position where you're just continuously worrying about who's taking this and who's doing this and who's doing that and who's getting paid and when you ain't, you know, um, then, you know, you're just running down your inner, your inner glow, you know? Right. And if, once your inner glow goes, goes out, you know, then you, you can't. You you have no more. You lost the fat the battle. You know you're sitting in the corner sucking up a bottle of liquor. You know, and you know it's or something even worse. You know, I I know for a fact I can't go back there. I did that already. I I, I did I did that. You know I I mean I don't think that when I was that screwed up and messed up, I worried about anything. I was having too much fun. Right. <laughs> you know I knew when I was loaded, I was having fun. You know, and, and and then when it stopped being fun is when I realized that, you no, know, maybe I better quit this before right. I be dead. You know, because yeah. because I was getting that close. You know, and I was I was going to funerals for friends. You know, and when I when I when I really realized that it's getting too close to home, I think I better cool this and then cool this out. You know, and that's what I did. Well, that's that's deep what you say about the the inner glow because you are someone with a very clear inner glow. I mean, that's that that comes out. Oh, you thank know. you. I, I, yeah. I'm having fun. I'm having fun, right. and I'm I'm surrounding myself by good musicians who like to have that, that like playing and and, and 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 a love listening. Mm. You know, if we all listening to each other, we gonna there's no end to what we can do. Wow. All right. Well, thanks for your time, George Porter Jr. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. All right. Nice.